Trust people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, hast thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Because it was weakness that killed strength on the cross. The moment you see people who are weak, they are strong. Because the strength of God does not look for strength. It looks for weakness. Paul taught us that his strength is made perfect in our weakness. We are going to pray tonight as a nation. When I say nation, I mean a people group. We are going to pray tonight and ask the Lord to unite the Tarok land. Now, please look up. I want to do something very prophetic here. I stand here as a man of God, and I believe with all my heart that God has sent me not only to preach and to heal, but also to be a bridge of unity. Please hear me. I'm saying this to every family, every clan of the five chief dogs. Every politician, every man of God, every elder statesman, every mother, every father, every sister in the Tarok land who has been offended by someone on their behalf. I'm bowing down on my knees and I'm saying it is time to forgive and it is time to let go. All the chiefdoms, it doesn't matter how old the story is. Whoever it is, I am telling you that it is time for this state. It is time for this nation to go forward. So I have come as an advocate of unity. That united we stand. I don't care who did what a man of God offended another pastor. This one did not call me reverend pastor. Another politician said, no, I don't care all that one. One thing for sure is that we will only stand when we are united. So I am lending my voice with Jesus and everyone who means this nation well to bow down openly before the whole world to go on my knees and say our elder statesmen, our royal council, our politicians, our lecturers, our pastors, Everybody who has been offended or aggrieved in the Tarok land, it does not matter the story behind it. It does not matter how long. I'm sure that some of those grievances, maybe over clans, happened even before I was born. Listen to me. We look like our parents when we are born, but we look like our decisions when we die. We cannot afford to allow this time to fail. Mama, it's time to forgive your son. Baba, it's time to forgive your son. Pastor, it's time to forgive your members. Politicians, it's time to stop all this fight and let us come together and that God will help us. So I am kneeling down on behalf of everyone at all, whether you are here or in any nation of the world, dead or alive, who has been aggrieved in one way or the other. 
whether it was caused by a tarot man or caused by a non tarot man it does not matter it is important for us to know that one day if christ tarries we will all follow the way of death and hear me when you die it does not matter who you are it does not matter what you know if christ tarries one day this man you see kneeling before you people will come and gather like this and push you in the grave and that is the end of it for the sake of our children born and unborn let's give birth to our children and let this be part of the history too that one day the tarot nation came together to shelve every difference in truth not politically here on this crusade ground this is my proposition and in the name of jesus by the privilege of ministry for the sake of those who have died those who are alive for the sake of those who brought the gospel to this nation it's time for us to bury all these differences and move forward in the name of the father in the name of the son and in the name of the holy spirit I want to make an altar call tonight i may not even have the time really to just pray for the sick our time is gone i do not intend to keep us unnecessarily long but i want to make an altar call please listen to me my dear people hear me if you ever aspire greatness greatness happens beyond the realm of education beyond the realm of having a blessed family it takes Jesus. Please take it higher for me. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way We are who we are today Not just because of education Not just because of intelligence Not just because of connection We are here because of Jesus A day came in my life when I handed over everything to Jesus And look what is made out of this life listen to me dear people this is one last time this night the spirit of god is about to make a call the greatest demonstration of unity is to be reconciled back to jesus the author and the finisher of our faith now please hear me i don't just want you to run out as a ceremony there are people who have given their lives to christ from the altar call day before yesterday there are others who came yesterday. But there are people in this place who are saying, Apostle, when you made that altar call, I was here. But for some reason, I did not feel a need to come out. But I know that I need Jesus. There are other people who are saying, Apostle, as at the time you made the altar call, I was not at the program. Now I am here and I've seen for myself that Jesus is alive. And that he wants to do great and mighty things in my life. Can I tell you this? No matter how far you have gone, he can give you a new beginning. The prodigal son left his father and the Bible says he went to feed with swine. And one night he came to himself. Like many people are going to come to themselves tonight. And he said, how many hired servants has my father and I am here feeding with swine. He said, I will arise and I will go to my father. And when I get to him, I will say, Father, I have sinned against you and against heaven. 
I am not worthy to be called your son. Take me as one of your servants. And the Bible says, when the father saw him afar off coming, he ran and kissed him and embraced him. Because when you run to Jesus, he will never leave you comfortless. He will come to you. Hear me. I believe that there is an apostle, an evangelist, a pastor in the making who needs to make his way right. Apostle, you do not know how bad I have been. I've been a thief. I've been an armed robber. I've been a bad person. I've done every evil you know to do. I've caused pain for people. Jesus can give you a new beginning today. Apostle, you do not know the kind of addictions that I've suffered. There is nothing evil that I've not done. Jesus can give you a new beginning today. Apostle, you do not know I've been involved in witchcraft and occultism and all kinds of diabolic, demonic activities. Can Jesus save me? Absolutely. That's why he brought us here. Apostle, I don't think that I have a future and a hope. I'm not, I don't even like church. I hate pastors. I hate everything about Jesus. But now that I've heard you, I want to give him a chance. Will he accept me? Yes, sir. I'm going to count one to five. And please listen to me. Do not just run out of this place emotionally. But for those who are saying, Apostle, I truly need Jesus. I believe there are some bold young men who are saying, I am tired of this kind of life. I am tired. There must come a time in a man's life where you make up your mind. It was Dr. Panam that sang and said, there comes a time in everybody's life where you must choose who to follow, who you believe in. And he says, I have made up my mind that I will follow Jesus. Right now, I want to give you an opportunity one last time. It is not by force. You can choose to sit back and say, it does not matter. Nice preacher. Let's share the grace and leave this place. But I believe that Jesus sent me to this land for one person. And even if it is only one person left to be saved, we must insist that you be saved. I will count one to five. And I want you to run and come and stand here if you are making this decision for Jesus young and old no matter how old no matter how young no matter what religion you want to give jesus a chance here is your opportunity as i count one to five come and stand here with genuine repentance and brokenness are you ready let's celebrate them as they come please if the children don't know what they are doing just keep them there let's be very serious so that we can have space one come on tarot nation is this how you celebrate salvation Come in, na kane. Come in, na kane. Come in, na kane. Ya Yesu. Come in, na kane. Yeshua, Amashia. Come in, na kane. Yeshua, Amashia. Come in, na kane. Come in, na kane. Come na na kane, come na na kane, come na na Yeshua, Hamashia, come na na kane, Yeshua, Hamashia, come na na kane, come na na kane, come na na kane. Yeshua, Hamashia, 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 come na na kane. Are you still coming? Apostle, I remember giving my life to Jesus in a crusade or in a church. 
But as it is, my life has gone haywire. I cannot truly say I'm a Christian. Join them. Join them very quickly and I pray for you. Apostle, I'm not even sure. I'm not sure I'm saved. I just know I've been around church. I've been around pastors. Join them this night, young and old, all together. I salute every one of you for coming out here. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, parents, uncles, aunties. Thank you for making this decision. My Bible says that everyone who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. We have come before the God of heaven. You have come before Jesus, even the mediator of the new covenant. Here's what I want you to do. Please, would you lift your right hand high above your head as we pray this prayer. There used to be an old song. Listen, let me tell you the implication of coming out for an altar call. When you come out for an altar call, it means you are acknowledging, number one, that you cannot help yourself by your strength. Number two, is an admittance that you are ready to leave your old life and begin a new life and graced by the power of Jesus Christ. Number three, when you come out for an altar call, it means you are making a declaration that at the end of this life, you want to spend eternity with Jesus in heaven. This is the implication of your coming out. And if you really mean it, then lift your right hand and say this after me. Very loud, very clear to Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it again. Say, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. I know that you are the Son of God. I declare that I cannot help myself. And I ask you to save me, to help me, to wash me with your precious blood. I receive forgiveness of sin. And I declare from today and forever that you are my Savior. You are my Lord. You are my King. I declare that the power of sin, the power of Satan, the power of hell, and the power of the grave is broken over my life. From this night, I am a child of God. From this night, I receive eternal life. I go forward ever and backward never. I am a Christian. I am a child of God. Amen and amen. Now let me pray for you, please. Father, thank you so much for these dear people. I thank you for the conviction of the Spirit to have brought them out tonight on this last night. I ask that based on their declarations that you honor their faith and by the authority of Scripture I declare that they are recipients of eternal life. From tonight I decree and declare that you walk in the newness of life. You receive tonight the abundance of grace and even the gift of righteousness. 
I declare that the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Here's what I want you to do. The counselors are waving their hands. Look up, please, all of you in front here. Thank you so much. The counselors are waving their hands. I want you to please walk very, very fast, as fast as you can towards my right, my left, which is your right. Walk up to them very quickly. You have said bye-bye to Satan. Nina Yesune Bazankoma Bazankoma Bayaba Nina Yesune Bazankoma Bazankoma Bayaba Nasa Hanuna Akanke Kenoma Bazankoma Hallelujah. Please attend to them very quickly. We are going to pray. And then when we pray, I promised you yesterday that we are going to pray on your request. How many of you brought your request? Wave it to Jesus. Let me see it. Oh, you've submitted. How many of you are yet to submit your request? Wave it. Let's see. Now, here's what I want you to do. Please, let's have volunteers. Just pass it to anybody you can see. Please, ushers, if we can do well. I see at the minister's stand there are people who have their request. Someone, please collect it very quickly. Whether you are an usher or not, right to the back. Har Awuje. Those, if you have your prayer request and it's not submitted yet, please, very quickly. Very quickly. Let's have it because we're about to pray. We are about to pray. There was a song that a lady sang in Tarok yesterday after the service. Who was it? Can you sing that song for us? I hope my people would know. If they don't know, okay, let, let someone. I want her to sing that song while we prepare to receive. Yes, even if it's to excuse them for a while, it's late. Okay. Are we together? So they are going to sing that song and will celebrate Jesus for two to three minutes while you are receiving the prayer request. And in case you've not written one and you want to quickly write one, go ahead. We have a minute or two for you. Very quickly, please. We want to pray and then we'll declare over the land. Yes, please. Go ahead. Ah, yes, Oh, yes, Ah, yes, Mabula Wang Wang Li. Ah, yes, oh, ah, yes, ah, yes, Mabula Wang. Ah, yes.
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you ready to pray? Now, I ask you to bring your prayer request like this because it is the most accurate representation of your desires. The Bible says, Mark chapter 11 and verse 24. Please, if you're still running with the request, just bring it quickly. We're about to pray. Mark chapter 11 and verse 24. Jesus himself was speaking and he said, What things soever ye desire, he says, When ye pray, believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it. How many of us believe in the power of prayer? Wave it to Jesus. Let him see that you believe in the power of prayer. Please, very quickly, we're about to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, hear us from heaven, forgive our sins, we pray. One more time. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to stretch your hands towards me as an act of faith while we pray. You don't have to kneel. Let me do the kneeling. In the presence of our fathers of faith, our elders, and God's people, I want to bow my knees like Paul would say in Ephesians chapter 1. And I want to agree with you. Only God knows what is written here. For some of you, written here are death sentences court cases difficult situations that only the power of god can step in oh but there is there is a name that is above every other name and so i want to pray i want you to just stretch your hands by faith and in one minute while you are stretching your hands begin to talk to Jesus that these Egyptians that I see today, I will see them no more forever. Is someone praying? Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. Lord, this family issue, this financial issue, this health challenge, this yoke of untimely death over my family, it must be broken. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray.
name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. There are two or three more things that will be done. And then I'm done for tonight. I wish I had the time to tell you my story. Many years ago, the Lord Jesus Christ appeared unto me. And when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, in that encounter that I had with you, I was in the room. How he entered, I do not know. Whether he entered through the door, whether he entered through the wall, I just know that he came. Majestic beauty. Consuming fire. Sweet perfume. His awesome presence fills this place. Consuming fire. Sweet perfume. Your awesome presence fills this room. And when he entered, majestic splendor. I was looking at him, the one who preachers talk about, the one we call Jesus. Listen to me. When I saw Jesus, I understood what happened to. Isaiah. Ah. Soon answer. Yes. One day I see you can soon I soon answer. Yes. One day I see you can soon I soon answer. Yes. One day I see you can soon I. The strange thing that happened in that vision was that he was not talking to me. He was not speaking, and yet he was talking. That was when I learned that you do not have to speak to talk. I was hearing what he was saying, and yet he was not talking. And he stretched his right hand towards me. That's the miracle. Light that is brighter than the sun came into my being. Many of you have listened to my teachings and you hear me say that how I did not die is a mystery. And listen to me. When he stretched and that light entered me, that was what changed my life. The next time I opened my Bible, I understood things I never read. It was like they drew a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. The Bible says the entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding. The vision that brought me into ministry was a very strange vision. I was standing in an elevated altitude like a room upstairs and facing a sea side. And all of a sudden I saw an endless sea of people. And in that vision, I understood it to be a whole generation. And they looked at me and they were crying and they said, there's no food and no water. And I told them, who is the cause of this? And they pointed, they said, you are the one. I said, no, I would never be this wicked. And I said, I was running out to come and rescue that generation. But I remember there were some vicious people who were pursuing me. But then I made up my mind that if I perished, I perished. That I was going to go out. As soon as I opened the door, there was a giant, gray-bearded looking man. Now I know it's the Holy Spirit. He stretched his hand and said, come, I will hold your hands. Let's go together. And he held my tiny looking hands. 
He will not suffer my food to eat. Carry your presence everywhere. Your mind is so. Very ordinary man and held by a mighty God. And he held my hands and he said, Let's walk. And then we began to cross from sea to sea, from place to place. So for everything you see today, behind this frail man you see kneeling before you is a mighty God. Mighty, mighty God. I'm bowing my knees to pray, not because there is anything special about me, but believe me when I tell you, behind this man that kneels before you is a mighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. I want to pray for you and I want you to believe in the declarations that will be made here because many of you will be so surprised. You will marvel and wonder at the things that begin to happen to your life at the instance of this prayer. Do you believe this? Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I bow my knees before your people, before the kings and nobles, the elders and the fathers. And in the name that is above all names, even as you have anointed and sent me, I decree and declare every prayer request written here, let it be turned into a testimony now. Let it be turned into a testimony now. Let it be turned into a testimony now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every, every Egyptian that you have seen thus far, I decree and declare by the mantle and the mandate of Jesus that the Egyptians you see today, you will see them in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone here appointed unto death. We speak to the spirit of death and we speak to the grave. Oh, oh, oh death, where is your sting? And oh, grave, where, where is your victory? We call upon the name of he who is the resurrection and the life. And we declare no one will die prematurely in the name of Jesus. Every evil represented here that is connected to ancestry, connected to the spirits of the dead, connected to foundations and demonic patterns. I and rams, and in the name of Jesus Christ, who died. I decree and declare those altars and those yokes are broken right now. Broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Every human agent 
who must be in partnership with heaven for this request to come to pass by the power of the prophetic i prophesy to the north i prophesy to the east i prophesy to the south and the west everywhere the helpers of your destiny are who must show up to see to it that god's faithfulness is demonstrated in your life i call them by prophecy into your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. I shift systems and structures. To make sure that this request are answered. In the name. Prayer request. Everything that has risen above your head. I bring it under your feet right now in Jesus' name. Everything that has risen above you, every problem, every pain, every challenge, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I... Now listen very carefully. I'm wrapping up. I want to pray and speak over your life. Son of man, can these bones live? He took me in the spirit, Ezekiel 37. And said, and he took me to a valley that was full of dry bones. And the Bible says they were very dry. They had been there a long time. And he said, son of man, can this marriage live again? Son of man, can this ministry live again? Son of man, can the Tarok nation live again? Prophesy to the four winds, the dry bones, and say, Oh, dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. I want us to, to agree in faith as I speak over your life and speak over every dry bone. Because under a certain condition, everything can hear. And when God speaks, everything listens everything failure listens failure listens defeat listens You have taken all my pain. You've taken all my shame. You've taken all limitations. You've taken all, all, all the sorrow. You have taken all the sadness. You've taken all the shame. Taking all disappointments, you've taken all the pain you, you have made them yours. The highest praise to the king you have made them yours. The highest praise to the king, he is taking all your pain. He's taking all your shame. He's taking all limitations. He's taking all the sorrow. He's taking all the sadness. He's taking all the pain. 
you have made. Let me yours. I am praise to the We give you worship, worship. The highest praise to the King. We give you worship, worship. worship. The highest praise to the King. You've taken all my pain. You've taken all my shame. You've taken all the tears. You've taken all the sorrow. You have made let me yours. Highest praise to the King. In the name that is above all names, I speak prophetically and I declare over you every door that has been closed over your life, over your family, over your children, over your job. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare over that door. Be open right now in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Doors of opportunities. Be open in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, where thou had been forsaken so that no man passes through you, I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. I decree and declare, every family here that has been called Ichabod, that the glory of God has departed from you, I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic. Let there be a restoration of your honor, your glory, and your dignity. Your honor, your glory, and your dignity to every home, every family, every clan. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. The Bible says the mother bore him in sorrow and she called him Jabez. But a time came when Jabez prayed a prayer. And he says, oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my tent. I pray for you. Anyone carrying a negative name that has become a cost to your life, a cost to your family, a cost to your clan, prophetically and by the Spirit, I decree and declare the same way the story of Jabez was changed, May your story change now in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Samson was a man who was a great and mighty warrior. But for some reason, he gave into all kinds of things. He lost his hair, which was a symbol of his strength and glory. He lost his eyes which was a symbol of his vision. And yet, when they brought Samson and put him between two walls and they began to mock the God of Israel, Samson prayed a prayer and said, Lord, one last time, all of a sudden the strength of Samson returned. I want to pray for someone who had risen to a height and for whatever reason you went down. There are families that have risen to certain heights and yet went down. God is a God of restoration. My God says, and I will restore the years. I want to prophesy over you. Everything that has left your life, every dimension of glory you used to enjoy. Listen, believe what I'm saying. I'm speaking as one sent of God. In the name of Jesus, Every glory that has departed from your life. Tonight, I call upon the God of my covenant. Let there be a restoration for you. Let there be a restoration for you. Let there be a restoration for you. Listen to me. Honor is a mantle. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. 
when the honor of the spirit is upon your life then a generation will hearken to you men will not listen to you just because you have something to say no there is a grace of honor and he said thou shall anoint joshua the son of none you shall call him in whom is the spirit and thou shall anoint him he says thou shalt take some of your honor and you shall give to him i want to pray for that grace listen i don't stand to insult your pedigree but this man standing before you i know what it means to be honored i have stood before kings and nobles god has given me the prayer request of my contemporaries in many lifetimes together i know what it means to be honored When he sends a word to Jacob, it is for the sake of Israel. Therefore, by the privilege of that grace, I stretch my hands over everyone here. In the name that is above all names, may this mantle of honor that God has so graciously given, I pray for you from the depth of my heart and by the Spirit, may that grace come upon your life right now. May that grace come upon your ministry right now. May that grace come upon your family right now. In the name of Jesus. By this prayer and by this impartation, I decree and declare shame and reproach of all sorts. Let it be far from your life and destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, over the Tarok land. Lift up your heads, ancient doors. I come in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Every altar, every enchantment, every agreement with the spirits of the dead, every covenant with the elements of nature, the sun, the moon, the earth, the waters, the sea, in the name of him who died and rose again, I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. Let that covenant be nullified tonight. Let that covenant be nullified this moment. Let that covenant be nullified tonight. And in the name of Jesus, we lift up a new banner over the Tarot nation. Jesus, as King of Kings, Jesus as Lord of Lords, Jesus as the captain of our salvation, Jesus as the author and the finisher of our faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Our children and our children's children will serve the God of the Bible. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I decree and declare let there be massive developments in the tarot land we attract the presence of captains of industry by prophecy we attract development investors we call you by prophecy academicians we call you by prophecy we attract the attention of the government at the local level at the state level in the name of jesus at the national level we attract the attention of foreign investors look upon our land with kindness in the name of jesus christ and i decree that there will never come a time in the tarot land where there are no men of influence there will continually be men of power men of influence men of grace men of capacity men who have a voice in the name of jesus right from this land the lord will spread us across the nations of africa across the nations in europe in america asia in the name of jesus christ i speak over the earth of tarot land all earth hear ye the word of the lord 
begin to produce at an extraordinary dimension. I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. I speak to the farms. I speak to the earth. I speak to the weather. Begin to bring rain on time in this land. I prophesy by the apostolic that when it is time for rain, there will be no, no delay. Rain comes according to the ordinances of heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. people are cross board in the name of Jesus we call that spirit by name the fourth rider upon a pale horse he, his name is death we call you by your, your name and we curse you by the God of heaven men will begin to live in hundreds before they die in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of irresponsibility, drunkenness, smoking, violence, and all kinds of ills that plague our young people. We arrest those spirits from the second heavens. We speak to you. Let our children go. Let our sons go. Let our daughters go. Let our fathers go. Let our mothers go. Let our diplomats go. In the name of Jesus. We prophetically announce an exodus every captivity upon the tarot land we declare chains be broken now everybody who comes into this land to destroy anyone we command the borders of this land to fight them we speak to the wind to fight them. We speak to the earth to fight them. We speak to the water. Has to fight them. Anyone who names the name of darkness and comes into the land to destroy anyone, may this prophecy remain in the air. It will fight them to their graves in the name of Jesus Christ feeding the men And the men not having something to do and the women going to suffer and bring food in the name that is above all names I declare may the grace of God empower the men so the spirit that is rendering our mothers and turning them into widows rendering our fathers and turning them into widowers rendering our children and turning them into orphans in the name of Jesus we drive that spirit far from our land in the name of Jesus I prophesy stability to our royal system I prophesy stability to our political system I prophesy stability to our economic system in the name of Jesus Christ and hear me, for everyone who has paid the price to come for this crusade, I stretch my hands over you and I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. As you enter 2022, may you enter 
and meet testimonies waiting for you. Hear me? For many of you, tonight is your crossover service. You are crossing over prophetically with honor and with dignity. I prophesy it upon your life. You are crossing over into 2022 in the name of Jesus Christ. And anyone here suffering any terminal illness, blood-related diseases, and any kind of infirmity, growths around your body, high blood pressure, genotype issues, blood group issues, kidney failure. In the name of Jesus, we arrest it one last time. We declare be free from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, Tarot Nation, I declare to you prophetically, united we stand. From Europe to America, to Africa, to Asia, to Nigeria, to Plateau State, back to our homeland. United we stand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout it after me. Say, United we stand. We are going to say it seven times. Number two, say, United we stand. Number three, United we stand. Number four, United we stand. Number five, United we stand. Number six, united we stand. Are you ready for the last shout? When we say the seventh one, I want you to jump, rejoice, shout, celebrate. Let the devil know that we're united people. Are you ready now? Number seven. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Now please, just two, just two very quick announcements and I'm done. I'm told here that all the new converts, that means everyone who came out here from day one, yesterday and tonight, if you came out here responding to the altar call, please be here at the stadium tomorrow by eight on the dot, please. There are a group of counselors who will be here. They want to see you and talk with you. Everyone, please, parents, loved ones, allow your loved ones who came for the altar call to please come. 8 a.m. on the dot. Hallelujah. And then I forgot to tell you that still supporting education, we made 1,000 exercise books to give to our children. I thought that we'd just have a little gift for the children. I don't know if we've shared them. Please, if we've not, go ahead. Is for children, not for adults. Children means from what age now? Five to five to ten. That's our gift for the children to inspire them. At the back of it is written a few wise sayings. Please find all our children. You can go ahead and begin to give them right now. All our children, let it be a souvenir that they would take back that will inspire them with the passion to be educated. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Again, I honor our fathers. Thank you so much for the honor you have given me. I honor every single person here. Thank you so much, our elders. Thank you so much, our pastors, Reverend Bishop. Thank you so much. And to the Tarot Nation, thank you. I love you with all my heart. And together we'll go from glory to glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise the Lord. I'm told that our father, Ponjisini, will come to just give us a vote of thanks. So please let's honor him. Everyone we know, I'll be waiting here at the back. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. 
バイ